Pastor Fred has a problem. Some members of his congregation have been committing adultery, and he needs to do something about it. Simply telling people not to commit adultery isn't having any effect, and so he devises a system he calls adultery trading. The idea is simple. He puts a cap on the amount of adultery that is allowed to take place within his congregation and sets it nice and low, way below the adultery rate of the worst offenders. He then issues each congregant with a certain number of passes, each giving permission for the holder to commit adultery once. It works out at twice a month for each member of his church. But he allows his congregants to trade these passes for a fixed price. That way, he reasons, faithful couples are rewarded, while adulterers pay what amounts to a fine. Harry is a little upset about the cap because his mistress insists on seeing him every Friday evening, so he needs some more passes. Luckily, one of his friends is Julie, and she doesn't have a lover right now. So Harry arranges to buy her passes, and she gives him a special discount at her grocery store. And everybody is happy. Harry is happy because he doesn't have to change a thing. Julie is happy because she now has an extra customer. And Pastor Fred is happy because his targets have been met.